Hi guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. In today's video, I am going to show you how we can set up and install an open VPN server on Ubuntu. In the early days of my channel, I have already made a video on open VPN. This one. The difference between today's video and this video is going to be like in this video, we have also installed and set up VPN, but from DigitalOcean's marketplace. Means we did not run any command by ourselves, DigitalOcean ran it uh, for us when we choose any platform to install through marketplace. This method is good and most importantly, it's very easy. But on the other hand, it bounds us to always go with platform like this, which is providing marketplace script installer. But in this video, we are gonna install and set up the same open VPN by running commands so that you can also do the same and install this either in your personal home or any other very affordable cloud servers now if we are talking about affordable cloud servers then let me just tell you you will not find more affordable servers cloud servers anywhere else around the world reliable platforms if we talk about than this company contabo if i show you price comparison with DigitalOcean, then you can see the difference their smallest plan gives you 8 gb ram a 200 gb of storage ssd comes up with a quad core processor of course there are some hidden charges like taxes which means th which makes this plan for something around 10 dollar a month but when you compare the same thing uh, with the data ocean then you may see 48 us dollars even storage is less than this plan anyways contabo will also charge you a setup fee uh, for a first month which makes the amount double for the first month but if you go with my affiliate link in the description uh, you don't have to pay this setup fee but this offer valid till limited time you save something i get something so it's a win-win situation for both of us okay so for me i have already taken a server uh, for making this tutorial so let me just directly log in into my account when you are going to buy a server you just need to select term length of whatever you choose if you directly choose 12 months you does not have to pay any set of fee uh, but if you go with a month then you have to pay the double amount for the first time and the region you can select from here this is free rest the charges has been mentioned according to the location storage type you can either choose 50 GB NVMe and 200 GB SSD. Just make sure to select Ubuntu and 20.04. Rest are the options you can choose according to yourself. Just make sure to choose this as it is while following up this tutorial. So let me just log in into my account. When you bought their services and create an account, uh, you will get an email like this which mentioned your details like your login credentials everything so you don't have to worry about that now let's log in to our server the IP I will copy from here username is root and now let me type my password now please find this link also in the description and first we need to update source list it is very much recommended if especially if you are getting a new server so copy this command and press enter Now run this command to upgrade the system packages.
after that you need to install some required things by copy the command from here and press enter type y and press enter now copy this command make sure to copy till the last and press enter now copy this one and press enter now again we need to update because we have added one new repository in the source list so we need to update the same as well using the same command press enter Now we need to install OpenVPN server by running this command and press enter. Type Y and press enter. Now it will take some time to install till then we have to wait. Now as you can see OpenVPN has been installed, that's our username and password of course and that's the link of admin panel which we needed to create and manage users. We can only create two users in the free OpenVPN license and this is the URL uh, we need to connect to our VPN. So let me open this URL in a new tab, ignore the security warning and proceed to unsafe. username is openvpn and password we will copy from here and click sign in now here it will recommend and also shows us the platform apps and softwares we can download according to our operating system. So we are on windows that's why it is detected and it is recommending us to download the open VPN software desktop application for windows. If we click here it will start downloading the desktop application of open VPN connect. So I have already downloaded it and installed it and by the way you can simply do that by clicking few next next few times and it will finishing up the things and after installing you will see an interface like this where you need to click this plus button and copy the URL and click next accept username is open VPN password we can copy from here and click import again accept now whenever we try to connect it will always ask us to password so we can save the password by clicking here and provide the same password and click save now if we connect so as you can see our vpn has been connected you can see my ip is same as this ip and my location is germany so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.